Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to a Punched Out Thursday to Die For, where we all take our punches and or dies and use them to create our layout. And this is a photo I'm scrapping today of my granddaughter, Hope. And these flowers here, I got that die set with the flowers right there in, on, above it. Oh, probably a year ago. And I made these flowers, and then I never did anything with them. I made those leaves that I pointed out, too, but I'm not going to use them. I am going to use that little Tim Holtz die set and the word smile. The pink fresh die, and then those others I stuck in there with it. And I already cut all them out, and I did my punching so I could go ahead and do my inking. Because I figured the layout would take a while anyway. I pulled out this sticker sheet from Indigo Vintage Garden or something like that. And forgot all about it. And I used both of those paper pads. And that one paper pad, as you could tell, the paper was super thin. It is, and it's going to last me forever. So I mounted it on, well, it was a sheet out of a paper pad but they were really thick papers it was one that had little monkeys all over it which i fussy cut a bunch out you know how paper pads are it had three sheets yeah so i figured i'd never run out anyway and used it to back this i i'm making a fence which i had before and i like to do it only I thought I'd do this one just a little bit different. Not a whole lot. I am any place that looks like there's a crack <laughs> that you can see through. I am going ahead and adding some greenery and having it come out from between the, the slats of the fence. <laughs> I guess that's what you call them. Boards of the fence, whatever. And yeah, I am going. And I, I did ink it in weathered wood. Those light green leaves are really super thin. It's some paper I got from Big Lots years ago. And it had a clover leaf on it or a three-leaf clover, whatever. And I did make a, a St. Patrick's Day layout one time a long time ago with it. And the kids made some cards with it for St. Patrick's Day just for fun. But other than that, I hadn't used it. But I thought, I could use that for leaves. Oh my goodness, they are so thin after I inked them. They might have been better if I hadn't inked them. And then put glue on them. And that tiny bit of glue that was on my fingers. Oh my goodness, it stuck to the leaves. And it tore two or three off. I can't remember how many, but I just glued them down to the paper. Since it was thin paper, I mean, it looked like it was decoupaged right on there. You couldn't tell it even tore. But I made sure I put a leaf, a leaf a flower where a petal was right there. I forgot to show my Fisker's uh, grass punch, but I am using it for, well, grass. Of course, I'm using it for grass. But I thought I'd have it going across the bottom and have some flowers come up out of there. And I think just one big one. But the rest are all going to be small ones that actually come up out of the grass. Now, that dark green paper was much easier to work with. <laughs> I had to be super careful with the light green, though. The, I decided to use the pink, the light pink, that matched the pink up there in the gingham for my little tiny accent flowers. And I'm inking them with... Uh, um, something honey, <laughs> my mind, wild honey, mild, wild honey. My mind went blank for a second there. And of course, I'm putting little centers in, and I just used a scrap that I had. And um, I am going to curl the leaves up a little bit so they're not laying completely flat. And I'm just going to end up scattering them around the page. And so I won't be putting them all on there at one time. But I will be putting them on as I go on with the layout. Now, this photo of Hope, <laughs> she has the tiniest little smile on her face. So cute. Uh, 
there are pictures with bigger smiles, of course, but this one's just adorable. And what else is adorable? She told me that when I scrapbooked this photo, that she wanted lots of flowers on the layout. Well, she didn't say layout. She just said on the page. And so I am putting lots of flowers. I'm making it look like a garden for her and putting lots of flowers on here. I mean, lots. I might have got, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I get carried away or not, or it just comes naturally, but I do like more. So I was able to fulfill her wish pretty easily, even thinking twice about it. I consider just putting her photo up there and putting the wood grain behind it and change my mind because, you know, I do like to make a frame every now and then. So I am going to make a frame around her photo and then I'm going to end up before it's over adding a trellis of flowers or meandering vine or whatever up the right hand side. But I am also going to add a couple of the bigger flowers there too. One I'm going to change out. The first one I put there, I'm going to decide I just can't figure out what to do with the others. And I am going to move one of the others. That is my problem child over there in place of it. And I'm happier with that. Just a little bit. I am happier with it. And the only reason I am not saying perfectly happy with it is because after I finished the layout, I realized that, well, there's two flowers. The centers are different. They got like little polka dots because the dye comes with little holes in it. So you can ink it and put the polka dots on there. And I only had two of them. I put them right side by side. I wouldn't have done that if I'd been paying attention to that too. I might have took a little longer place in the flowers, but I wouldn't have done that. The other centers, I used a half inch or a five inch, five eighths inch, <laughs> half inch or a five eighths inch punch and did the circle and then I rounded it out, you know, with one of those stylus things and put foam tape under it so the center would pop up. I was trying to decide which way I wanted to do it. The reason it had the little dot things is because, you know, there's supposed to be sunflowers and they have the brown, but I wasn't wanting to go with brown when I was playing with the dyes and trying to figure out what all I could do with them. And the funny thing is I made them and then I haven't used them yet since until today. So really, technically I didn't use them today. I just used the die cuts from it. But uh, yeah, I ended up with finally getting them on a layout. So I'm thrilled with that. But I've actually pulled the die set out for a layout for the fall. And I was going to put some flowers on it. But, uh, of course, I made out. I, I wanted to see what all I could do with them besides sunflowers. So these technically do not look like sunflowers. And that's what I was going for. Um, I think I'm about done adding all the greenery. I don't have a whole lot more to add. So while I'm doing that, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody else that is doing the Punched Out Thursday to Die For, where everybody will be using their punches and or dies to create their layout. So be sure to check them out and see what they did with their punches and or dies today and see what they've created. They might have done flowers too, so you might get some more ideas about flowers. But then again, you might get something else. Um, back to the layout. Oh, I did punch out some of that leaf, that three leaf thing, uh, Stampin' Up punch with that thin paper too. Um, so I am adding them in there. I forgot about that. They were on the bottom. I did them like first. As soon as I got done with the other light green ones. And uh, so I'm kind of filtering them in with the other greenery in there as soon as I notice them because in my opinion you can never go wrong with more green on your layout but then again it is my favorite color I did put foam tape 
on um, the flowers so they'd be popped up a little bit. Well, the bigger flowers. And um, there is foam tape underneath some of the layers, like the center that's rounded. Well, I think all the centers have foam tape under them, I think. I think I was looking at them, and I think they all do. But, uh, yeah, just add a little more dimension to the layout. School started Monday here, so Hope started kindergarten. Yeah, she's so excited, and she feels like, like such a big girl riding the bus, too. So, yeah, she's having an exciting week this week. Um, oh, and that smile there, it has the biggest dot for the eye. I mean, it is huge. I consider about punching out a little heart to take its place, but I decided to go ahead and go with it. It is cute being really big. I am splattering, sprinkling. <laughs> I am putting some uh, Dilutions white. I think it might be called white linen. It might be. I'm not going to guarantee it, but it might be. And sprinkling it across the layout. And while I was doing that, I got the idea to tear the top and put some of the wood grain behind that. And, you know, I had the two papers laying there. And if you see me reach back and tear a little tiny piece and a little tiny piece, well, that's because I could see a little bit of a monkey. <laughs> and I was trying to make sure I wasn't seeing any when I finished my layout. But uh, I had to go ahead and put a little bit on that wood grain, too, so it matched the rest of everything. But, yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And I had fun creating it. So I'll have to tell Hope that. And, yeah, there's all my little flowers. I just love that little punch. I actually seen a, the set. I got a set of two when I got it. For like $37. I think I paid like $18, you know. But uh, $37. So I'm figuring they're discontinued. You know how stuff goes up after they're discontinued. But anyway, um, if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And thank you all for watching my video today. And I hope it inspires you to pull out your punches and our dies and use them on your layout. It does take longer to do your layout, I'll admit that. But you have a lot of fun doing it. And it's uniquely yours because you can use whatever color paper you want. But have a happy, scrappy week. Bye.